Hello, it's Jane. I hope you're really well. I believe it's a public holiday in America, am I right? Uh, maybe I'm not, I don't know. There's not one here though, I can tell you in Australia. I can tell you that right now. Uh, we've had plenty, it's all good. And uh, I hope you're having a great day. It's Monday here anyway. Right, creativity. So at the end of last week, I totaled off with my friend to a live drawing session and I'm all still buzzing from it and having had fun from that. And then what did we do last time? I think we played around a little bit with the journal tattoos. I think I did this. That started from the journal tattoo. Ooh, a little black and white one. And then I've gone on adding them because when I start using them from a set, uh, I, it's better for me personally if I just use up that whole sheet rather than put them back like that. I just, it just satisfies me more so I'm really, I did manage to use up another sheet, that one there hanging half done is <laughs> giving me the conniptions. Hey Sarah, hey Enchanted Dreams, how are you going? Right, oh you're just on the shop, in my shop, oh love you. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so I've got Zorro's uh, knee operations coming up, so I appreciate all the shopping that you do, that's for sure, because that, he's going to be one expensive little bionic poppy, puppy when he's finished. He's got to have both knees done. Uh, okay, now I'm just going to quickly, I'm up here, hello, hello, but I'm going to be in the way, so I'm going to take myself back off, we're just down to the art. I had to photograph those the other day. I've got to put those aside. Now, something I haven't been giving enough love to. Uh, and always, if you want to see something in action, uh, that's, you know, Jane Davenport thing, of course, because that's all I use. Um, uh, put in a little request, put in a little comment of something that you'd like me to see me using or incorporate. And I can certainly do that as we go if I feel like it, with the caveat, uh, because, you know, I'm always, I really can only do things I feel like doing, because, hello, I'm an artist. <sighs> Washi tape. So this is um, just from a different set. This is this set. What have we got in here? Oh, all sorts of things. Hmm. Oh, look at that star power. Wow, wow, wow. That's the star power shimmering there and this is um i think it's all star power right and the other day i was showing you the new some of the new laces and that's what we've got in the background of this little thing have i finished this um, i love this page so i put one of the laces i think i've got a couple of different laces there i sprayed various inks through the lace this one's called Mermaid Mardi Gras. And so it's on my website. And then I've just put a little bit of leftover tape and I've started drawing on it, decorating it. Might zoom you in a little bit, I think. Oh, we're over there now, right. And oh, I love the look of the lace. This one's called Mermaid Skin. So you just pop the lace down, spray through it. And not, don't, you don't have to saturate the page. This is quite a, a lighter layer. Now someone asked me what would happen. Oh, and then, anyway, so I've just been adding bits of tape, journal tattoos, then I've come over with some of the different paint pens, different things as we've gone along. But what I was thinking is I haven't been, I haven't used my musical markers, these were, total go-to, mega favourite, I just, there's a lot of competition, woo, uh, <laughs> brush with fame, just the simple fact, you don't have to shake them up, uh, and they're fantastic, but these, yeah, wonderful little creatures, so I just need to get her rolling, oh no, she's ready to go, now the reason I have just, out of interest, the reason I put that down and then rubbed that, was because this is acrylic ink, or acrylic paint, super fluid acrylic paint. Um, if I just leave that as a blob, 
it will be like act like a glue and I'll get get it will get stuck there I just noticed when I f um, put a little photo of this that I thought this looked a bit weird so I'm just going to knock that back a bit and this is the right color So I'm just doing a little warm up really before I get stuck into whatever happens today. Oh, Debbie got her washies and her laces ordered. Oh, good one, Debbie. Good one. Uh, I'm just going to put this. And, and in fact, why don't I use my gold? Love my gold. Oh, look, obviously she's em nearly empty. So the musical markers are called this because you have to shake them up. It's just the way they are. So just like a normal paint pen. And then the brush with fame. It's a different type of ink. Uh, it's still an acrylic ink. It's just a different formula. But it has this brush tip. Uh, and what makes these so fantastic is they really do have that high opacity that you used to only be able to get with these. But look at how different they are. This is just where I clean my pages, obviously. Look at how different they are. So that's the obviously the musical marker and this is the brush with fame the ink is different the way the ink goes down is different the way your hand holds it and moves it is different the colors are different so although ostensibly they are the same they're both paint pens they're both they're different in the way that they do everything they're different enough for you to warrant having them both if you want that excuse or you can just pick one or none, it's up to you. <laughs> uh, I need everything so I, and I, if you think I'm going to stop here at paint pens you'd be sorely mistaken. Uh, I'm always thinking of what the next paint pen will be. <laughs> Because, you know, life. Oh, and then we have the whole world of these ones too, tippy toes. And she's a little bit different too. So it's a, a different formula. These are two are more similar, tippy toes and uh, brush with fame are more similar in that you don't have to shake them up. It's a paint over pen, part of that universe. But I'll pop that one down and the colours are different. So. The nib is different. So again, the way you use it, the way your arm moves. Um, this is a bit more of a delicate dance, a dance on the tippy toes, if you will. And this is more of a brush with fame. It's just everything is different. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Seeing as we've picked it up. So I've got all of these different golds happening now. So this one's called Ceremony, but there's a few different golds in the tippy toes. One of my favorite paint, white paint pens is the tippy toes white. It's, it's a little fun white brush pen. The funny part about that sentence is, uh, I don't have, I have I, or every white paint pen that I pick up, you'll hear me say, this is, one of my favourite white paint pens. It's like a mother saying, it's one of my favourite children. And she's really referring to all of them, right? Okay. Are we nearly done procrastinating, Jane? I think so. Smiles in the eyes, just... Doodly doo. Obviously she wasn't finished procrastinating. Oh no, I want that behind, it's all right. Uh, okay enough now so someone asked me if you say like this little um, butterfly that I sprayed through it's quite cute it was white before with all its new little colors really this is the uh, folk butterfly it's called so it's got that sort of folk style about it uh, I've sprayed through my inks when it's wet someone said can you flip it over and dab the ink uh, onto something else use the ink somewhere else and you could but 
because it's absorbent, it's not like a stencil, it's going to work a bit differently. So I said, let's do that in our next video. So let's do that now. But I've got a little bit of uh, leftover washi tape on here. Isn't that just such a nice effect? To me, it's like a colour x-ray or something. Just love it. And uh, this was a different um, lace. This is called Coquille, which is French for shell. Oh, so beautiful. It's like little fans dancing, little scallop shells. It's just, just beautiful. We might use this one, actually. Uh, no, no, a thicker one would be better for what I'm, for the demonstration I have in mind. I might use this one. This is um, Trevi Fountain, Fontana and Trevi. And we've got tiptoe through the tulips here and hoop uh, petticoat here. And then I've popped on a little bit of, I've got one of the journal tattoos and I bought in a little bit of ink. I don't think I did this with you. I think I was just playing around uh, without the camera rolling. Um, oh, Debbie, that's a good idea. The mask, the Mardi Gras mask. Yeah, let's do that. Let's see how we go. Oh, look, I can see a little face and a shoulder. I can see a jaw and a shoulder there. <gasps> okay, immediately wants to grab pencil, start drawing. I'll just do this first, okay. <sighs> Calm down. Well, seeing as I can see a little bit of a face and a shoulder, I could you put this bit of here, spray through, get like a little bit of a dress happening. But equally, I could maybe spray through here and get a little bit of hair, use this sort of decorative detail in there. Oh, and here's another little face here. Oh, this is two people facing either way. Okay, I might do this first. So this work, well, we'll, we'll wait and see. So the, to do this, what I'm gonna do now, it's better to use a watercolor based or a more watercolor type of ink. Um, if I use the permanent ink, so pigments of imagination or tattoo ink, which is the one in the skull bottle, that's going to set on the fabric and might not do what we want. We just want, it's an experiment. Um, so I'm going to spray through with pink. And strangely enough, pink is actually in Australia at the moment, the pop star. She got denied entry for some reason to some place in Sydney. Craziness. The, they didn't recognise her. Hello, it's pink. Uh, Pink's actually a customer of mine. When she was shopping, I think she actually had a house uh, around Byron Bay, and she used to go shopping in my store in Byron when I had my art gallery and uh, before I moved completely online. Oh, she's not. Uh, that's not working. So that's become a little bit clogged for whatever reason. So I will. Give her a little wash with water. Sometimes that's enough to move a blockage. No, come on, come on, she's trying. How funny that this pink is denying me entry. You're what I want to use. Ah. Well, that needs some soaking or something has been difficult. So I'm just going to, oh, it doesn't, I'm going to do a little bit of cross-contamination. So I'm just going, well, let me just check this is working in case it's a, no, it's just that having a conniption. Okay, so I'm just going to take that one out of there for now. That's a colour called watermelon. This is incredible ink. And I'm going to put watermelon so there'll be a little contamination that way, not into, because we're going to suck up the new ink, so it'll be a little bit of a darker pink and then it'll go fairy floss. That's okay. And I'll just pop that there just so I don't knock it over. And then what I'll do with this is soak this. Uh, I'll get a bit of a, my alcohol wipes. Unfortunately, when sprayers go get blocked, that fine little thing at the top. Um, it's just, it is what it is. Okay, so we're going to have a little bit of watermelon and then eventually we'll get to the rest. Okay. <gasps> but how pretty is that? Should we do a bit of yellow around the edges? So we've got, this is a bit of lemon sherbet. 
but I could use nimble lemon as well. Might even do that. Oh, she needs a bit of refill. Might just bring that. So I've got sort of like a little warm cascade uh, of colour. And I've done quite a lot of ink over this, but I'm just going to add a little bit more. And when I lift this, it'll be a silhouette. Um, and because this is a more of a blocked in type of lace, we're getting this quite stark silhouette. If it's more of the delicate-ish, I oh, will do it, I'll show you. More of the delicate-ish. So this is partridge that I'm just popping down. Uh, we're going to, it's going to be have a more delicate look because the ink can get through the paper if you know what I mean. Um, let's do this. No, oh, I sort of want to keep it light. This. Oh, anyway, let's just. Oh, this is going to have to work. This is such a neutral pink that it's going to have to work a little bit hard to uh, do the do. So there we go, that might be a bit better. So this sort of one we don't, don't want as much ink. I've already got quite a lot happening underneath because it is more delicate. It's easier for the ink to get under that more delicate thing. It's just like with stencils, you know, you've got different types. Now I can just wait for that ink to dry it's fairly wet on there but I'm going to just dab a little bit of that off so I'll still have this love I love the little oops I smeared that one um, so I may as well just come in and give that a little delicate just some di uh, different looks through it uh, so this will dab off some of the color but it, I always think it looks kind of nice just change it this gives more variety but it does soften the look and I do love the look of the things but it's going to take ages to dry I'm on a layer of acrylic here now do I leave that on there and just say you're now fairy floss so the one that wasn't working is actually this guy the watermelon so it's dangerous for me to leave that like that but I have to put the lid back on or I'll end up spilling it for sure so if I put it over there I might remember that I need to soak that um, spray out sometimes soaking it with warm water giving it a bit of a clean brings it back to life we'll just wait and see oh I don't know whether I like the softer edge better or the little fleckled edge better I'm kind of loving the soft edge here so I'm just going to dab again just when you're doing that dabbing remember I'm sort of turning the tissue to expose um, not wet ink because if I've got that wet ink there um, of course when I dab it I'm dabbing the wet ink back on so I'm just being a little bit situationally aware of what is happening and getting a little bit of this softer effect coming down here. I might even just... And of course, you have to do this before it dries. I do just want a delicate look in the background, so I'm going to dab. Dab it off. Still going to have that nice impression, but it's just going to be nice and soft. Hey, Babs. Hey, Zandra. How are you going? Hey, Kerry. Oh, it's nice to see you all. Hey, Benny. Hey, Tonya. How are you going? Um, Debbie says the coquille would be a very nice water effect, wouldn't it? Even like pond water, any water. Right, so mm, I can still see even more. Now I've got an ear where that, I thought that little head was going to be in that neck and shoulder. Okay, so the question was, before I got get completely distracted, which has already happened, about 50 times. Oh, I have to go soon too. Oh my gosh, time for lies. Uh, can we then 
flip this over and use it. So I think this is the wet side. So I'll just show you flipping it over and I'd have to put some pressure. So there, a little bit of an impression comes out, very slight though. I have had it sitting there for a minute, but I think what might work better is, which is the wet side? Oh, it both feels wet. I can't tell which is the wetter side, but um, definitely that. Let's spray some water over it and see if we can get it to release. I don't know if this will have enough ink on it. And just because we can, I might actually even spray another colour through it. I might even go purple. Do you know what? Let's just go mad. This is story timing. This is an acrylic ink. Like the... Um, Paint pens. This is ink, paint pen ink, that's in the Storytime ink. So it's a super fluid acrylic. It's the musical marker uh, ink. So it's um, fabulous. As long as you keep the lid on, um, I've, I haven't had a problem with any of these bulking up. That can always be a bit of a thing with acrylic ink. And I haven't diluted it. Uh, so anyway, let's just see what we get. So we should have a little bit of the watercolour under here. Oh, just a little bit, not too much, but enough to say this is an interesting effect. Not too much on that one, but it, the purple's nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, so you can, but it's going to be very random, the kind of effects that you're going to get, but you're probably going to have to add a bit more water to get things to happen. In fact, I wonder if you put, what will happen if we put down a bit of wet ink and then we put, I'm not sure which is the side of the lace. Hold please, I just had an idea. What happens if we, I'm just going to spray through here again. I've got acrylic on the other side, so it should be okay. Normally I wouldn't do wet, 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 but you know, too many wet layers. So I've got this little bit of uh, illusion pink. Oh, and let's do a bit of that fairy floss, which is, I think, gone all back to fairy floss now. We've lost the watermelon out of it. <laughs> so is this still wet? I don't know. So now we're flipping that ink over, and will I get a bit of a reverse ink happening in here. What kind of effect will I get? Oh yes, and then I'm going to spray a bit of water as well, just to blur it out. Because there's ink up on this part here. Mm, so it's not very distinct, but we are getting a little watermark impression. This looks very nice though. So anyway, just a few more little ideas to play with. And in fact, the more layers, because this is just a mess anyway, the more little layers we have, the more interesting this is all going to get. Now I want to turn my page back. This is a good start to the day. If you're starting your day with inky hands, it's a good day right there, isn't it? <laughs> oh, how beautiful the colours are. Now, I've got some shimmer happening there, but I don't know where that's coming from. Is it from, did I use something shimmery before in the lace and it's coming out maybe? Might have used something shimmery before. Anyway, I like it, whatever's happening. It's all good. Um, spraying work on the window pan paper. Oh, very well. Fine. It just depends. You just don't want to saturate it too much. Um, now, this has softened out a little because of the... Uh, I've put that 
wasn't dry and it's like let the ink spread a little that looks very nice so but I will just take that off that and then have to wash it again Yay! but ah I've put pigment pebble in this illusion pink that's where the I can here I can see a little bit of gold shimmer it's like where is this magic coming from I put a bit of the coppery pigment pebble in there and let her do her thing. So fairy dust is our other shimmery one. That is not fine enough. It's got more shimmer. It's got more glimmer, but can't can't go through this. Like star power, it just can't get through the very fine things that are needed for misters. These can. So you still you get your shimmer and you get your mist. So you know this is. <laughs> if you've got everything, don't feel bad. It's because you need it, right? Okay, now I was playing around with gold and I'm just going to outline in gold. I don't, it's, it's sort of gold's meant to be, you know, the finishing touch for everything, but isn't it really? But why not start off in the manner with which you want to continue, she says. She's one of those let them eat cake types here, I think. Look, she's got her fancy business here on. And here she is. Okay, now, out of interest, because I've got this in my periphery, have we got some eyes in here that'll work? Ooh, by George, we do. Okay. And we've got others. Hmm. Well, even if it's just temporary, temporary eyes. I might even just pull them apart. I'm sorry to do this to your eyeballs, love. Well, I'm going to leave that little bit of green on there because because washi is removable. Um, now, remember, this is a little bit wet, so you know we've got um, we don't want to be pulling it on and off things. It should be okay, but you know. And the tape I'm using is from this set. Uh, I have this convenient thing next to me because I just photographed it. Uh, for the website just doing a few more photos of it and yeah it's got three different types and they actually coordinate back with the stencils from this collection as it turns out so I'm going to because the face is a little bit smaller I'm just gonna rip these eyes to pieces Oh, I love the light blue. And then I can even angle them in a different way. We might angle it a little bit up. So she's got a little bit more of a cat's eye. And this one here, I'm going to take this off. Let me a quick look for questions in case there's anything I can help you with. So this washi tape we still have on the website. There are some that have totally sold out and they're always limited edition because I'm, I'm, then I do something else. So should I take that bit of green off because, um, and then I can redraw her eyelashes, that's okay. I can even, oh no, I can't do the, I've got journal tattoo eyes that are gorgeous, that are eyelashes, but they don't really work on washi. So I'm going to angle this one up the other way. No, that's too much. That doesn't look quite right. Oh, I quite like it. Okay, now, LTQ, yes, and really I've, very rarely would say you have to have a thing but LTQ is one of those things you really do have to have and speaking of having to have one I don't have one oh there it is I've moved things around in the background because of something that's going on in the future that I'm very excited about so I'm testing something in storage land in my desktopia here Okay, 
Okay. This is the one. This is the wonder writer. This is better on the washing, I think. I'm just going to emphasize these blacks again. Her little finer eyelashes. I think I might be procrastinating. Potentially. Oh, I might record this. Okay, because it's cute. Uh, and then I might even. Mm. Oh, actually, just always remember that this, because this is acrylic paint, if you put it down, you can use a brush with it to move it around depending on the situation. But this is going to have a slower drying time. Uh, but the ink that is in the musical mark is very 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 high grade the pigments are italian and uh, the ink itself um, it's made in italy yeah sometimes things because different countries have different specialties a lot of the nibs from my pens are actually made in japan and then they might be put together in the PRC, like as components, like combined with the ink and the la 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 la. Um, I don't like that straight edge there, so I'm going to try and pick that off a little bit. Just get my little tweezers happening. I wonder if I could tweeze, give, tweeze her eyes. What will happen? I don't really want to use, lose the lashes. What about if I start with scissors? Oh no, I'm using my good scissors, it's all right. They want to get used for the bit of the washi too. Oh gosh, come on. It's like I'm doing a little operation, a little nip and tuck. But I don't want to cut line, I want a torn line. But I'm... There we go. Like a little mask. Is there a secret to gro growing, growing? No, to drawing great eyelashes? Yes, there is. I'll show you. Or like here on her eye, like what eye? We start like hair, where the hair grows from, and you are the hair. You are the eyelash. You go out and you flick. You go out and you flick. Use a brush tip, makes it easier too. Start big first, flick, flick, flick. And because our eye is round, really your eyelashes, when you're looking at straight at a person, they're going to be doing this sort of thing like a basketball. When you know you've or an, the atlas of a globe. Oh, am I? I'm messing up my little title page. Oh, I guess. Um, yeah, so we flick the line so it's thicker and thinner at the end. Thicker and thinner at the end. So no little straight ones. We want them bent because they're not like little burnt matches. They're boop, boop. Oh, that bit of shimmer in there. I'm dying. Mm. You're very beautiful. Okay. Mm. Meow, meow, meow. Mm, okay, I'm going to use a little bit of, I'm on a bit of a musical marker kick today. Because I've got to give everything equal love. And this is the most opaque of the white pens, the musical marker. This is from the white noise set. So there's that one, the big one that I just had, wherever it is. Got camouflage itself into my table somewhere, and there's a medium size as well. There. Oh, there it is, the big one. Yes. Yeah, so white noise is the three different sizes. 
anyway. And the pinpoint is the thinnest. And then you've got the broad and the fine, same as in the actual musical markers themselves. But you can see how opaque this white ink is. And it is this way because of you mixing it up. So it's always going to be more opaque than uh, anything else. And therefore, irreplaceable. <laughs> Oh, do I want something soft? I'm going to start, start off with this and then we'll just see where we go. Mm, because I, I love this little soft, delicate detail. Oh, do I want to go in with gold? I don't know. Hmm. People look different when they have lips. Okay. Well, I'm going to uh, head off now, guys. Gosh, time went, time went flying past. And, uh, let all these inks dry. Hey Max! I've got a guy. But we can't just leave her with no hair because that's not seemly for a princess. <laughs> Max is making faces at me so I have to go. Uh, but yes, everything that I showed you of course Creative Juice inks, Pigment Pebbles, Musical Markers, Brush With Fame, LTQ, White Noise, Laces, everything. The journal itself, the, the mat underneath, everything. Not my hands, uh, the washi tapes, all at janedavenport.com uh, for your pleasure. Plus lots of videos and all that sort of stuff so you can have lots of fun playing around with uh, things. And I'll say goodbye. Bye. <laughs> and thank you for joining me.